Good morning, Liz Ann here from High Vibes Life, helping you make the rest of your life the best of your life. This morning I'd like to talk to you about projection. I want you to think about a projector. So with a projector you have a pre-recorded film or pictures and you take those pre-recorded films and pictures and you put them in a machine which adds light and it projects it onto wherever you point it, onto a wall or a screen or wherever you point that light and that projection onto, it projects it onto that. And so that is what projection essentially is. It is when you, a person has certain experiences and memories and things that come from the past that are recorded on their consciousness or their subconscious and with this this uh, film and this recording that they have on their mind they take it and they point it somewhere and they project it on to a situation or to another person so an example might be you had um, an alcoholic father that was very abusive and so you project anytime you see somebody drinking a beer you have a certain projection that you brought from that experience of drinking alcohol to this person drinking and you don't want anything to do with this person over here because they drink beer when the reality is this person having a beer or two may not ever be anything like that person that you grew up with. Another example could be perhaps you have it indelibly recorded on your subconscious mind that you are left out. You are constantly left out of things that people don't invite you to. And maybe you went through some things as a, as a child or where you really were left out of something and it really hurt you and you didn't understand why. And so now you have this on your subconscious mind and you find out that some friends at work are having a party and nobody told you about it. You weren't invited. And immediately that projection or that filter of that projection you project that onto those people those emotions that nobody wants to invite me anywhere and you project that onto them so a stronger projection might be that you had a teacher that was really mean to you and she had short hair and you know wore jeans all the time and a t-shirt say okay and so now anytime you see somebody that has short hair and wears jeans and a t-shirt, you project all those emotions that you felt toward your teacher onto that person. So you now automatically have the same reaction to that person emotionally as you had to that teacher back in the past. Now the thing that to remember is that projection is something that everybody does. Becoming aware of this phenomenon of projecting onto others can help us number one untangle ourselves from projection and number two learn something more about ourselves because whenever we get what they call triggered okay a trigger when you pull a trigger on a gun boom something happens right a blast goes off the gun goes off so a trigger, an emotional trigger is something that happens or somebody we meet or you know sometimes we're not even aware of what it is that causes a reaction inside of us, an emotional reaction inside of us. And so whenever we have these triggers, it's usually um, directly tied to some projection that we have from a past event. So our mind basically it time travels. We time travel with our, our memories all the time. And a lot of times we take what's in the past, we bring it into the present, and we also project it into the future. So we can take something that happened to us in our past, like say we tried at an adventure, maybe a business adventure, and we failed miserably in every way. And now we bring it into our, that memory into our present with us, and now we are thinking about a different business adventure, trying something again that way, 
but we project that onto the future because we pull that in and we say, well, I failed before and I can just see myself just failing miserably again in this area of my life. And that's a projection. So we're time traveling. And the best place to be and to live is right here in the present and to learn the lessons from the past, but not to project them out to the future or to project them onto other people. Because when we project, we basically repeat. We start getting into a cycle. So we go past, present, project, which brings us back to the same cycle of what happened in the past, present, project. And each time we go through that cycle, we actually reinforce those triggers and those things within our subconscious mind and our conscious mind from the past that we may be trying to let go of. An example of this may be uh, you have been trying for years to get rid of that extra 50 pounds and you have a cycle there. You have a cycle of you, you diet, you find a diet that you think this is going to work, right? And you bring it into the present but the first time you tried a diet, the very first time your experience was, I failed miserably at that. It didn't work. I started to work and then I just gained everything back and you know, it was just a big miserable. So now you take a new diet in, right? And you have this knowledge of how you failed before, so you're already projecting, sometimes at a subconscious level, I doubt this is gonna work. I don't think I can do this because I'm a failure at this. So you're telling yourself, a storyline and you're projecting it into your future and so then you try the diet you've already projected into the future how the outcome is going to be and you repeat that whole cycle because you do fail because you bring it into the present all the messages of the past and then you're projecting them into the future and then that happens and that goes right back to go and see I never, and you go back over all the times you failed and you start stacking it up. Well now, it's not just one time, two, three, four, five, so none of these diets work. And that is the cycle of projection. So again, back to becoming aware of these cycles and aware of proje projection, um, it takes time. It takes time by list, uh, observing our triggers, first of all. When we're triggered, when we're emotionally triggered by something, in the moment of that trigger, don't try to analyze it too much when your emotions are high. Just try to get to a place to just nurture yourself, go do what you do to bring your anxiety level down and then come back to it and think about the trigger. And then you can ask yourselves questions like, what triggered me and why? Why does this trigger me? You know, so for example, perhaps you were triggered by those people that didn't ever get back to you or didn't ever invite you to that party that everybody else seemed to be invited to and that really triggered you. So then when you ask why, you can think, well, because I know that that's been a pattern in my life, right? And as soon as you see that pattern, you go, oh yeah, I've had this go on so much and I'm very hurt by that. Now you know there's some form of projecting going on here. The thing about projection is that it's all tied into the law of attraction is you will perceive life. Everything out here in life reflects what you're perceiving and how you're perceiving it as a reflection of what's going on inside. Okay, so you can do a couple of things. You can say, well, what was the message I take that I wasn't invited? Okay, so the message was, I'm not, nobody likes me. Then you can ask, is that true? Does nobody like you? And then you'll probably say, well, no, not nobody. I mean, I know this person doesn't, but I have a lot of people that love me and that enjoy my company and blah, 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 right? You can start talking down that message, right? And then you can ask yourself, well, do I absolutely know that I just was left out and not invited? Maybe it could have been an oversight or maybe it's something, you know, you know what I'm saying? You can ask yourself, and maybe you could even talk to somebody. Oh, I heard that you guys are having a party and you know, who knows? Maybe that person would say, oh yeah, aren't you coming? And they'd be like, oh yeah, I think you're invited. And they'd find out, oh I, yeah, I totally meant to invite you. I sent you an invitation, you didn't get it. You know, you don't know. Or you could just leave it and just say, you know, um, just because I'm not invited does not mean what I gave myself the message to being way back here. See, what I'm going to change that is, is if somebody doesn't really want me to be at their party, I really don't wanna be there anyways. 
And it's not so much what do they think about me, it's what do I think about them? And that's bringing that power all the way back here into center again, into listening into your heart and, and letting you be the guide and have the driver's seat inside of your experience. Projection and triggers can be avenues of self-awareness. When we realize we are projecting something on somebody, we can like, I remember a long time ago, I remember I noticed that certain types of men, you know, the, with certain types of dressing and you know, shoes and the physique and everything triggered me. Like I automatically, when I'd see this, this physique and this type of dress and everything, I automatically thought that person's a predator. And it, when I began to become very aware of that, I realized I was projecting something that I had gone through in my childhood onto, and it's not that I don't still get triggered and have that happen sometimes, but I'm aware of it now. I'm aware to say just because the feeling of something that happened is kind of triggered in there now, doesn't mean I have to leave that projection there, but I can bring it back in and say, oh, that's from the past and I'm gonna leave that there and let this person just stand for what ever they are as a person, as a character. Just because they dress the same and look the same, does not mean they are the same inside their heart. They could be completely opposite type of people. One of the reasons it's so important to understand projection is because projection also causes a lot of conflict in relationships. Because people often project feelings just like they did to this example of coworkers that didn't invite. They often get hurt, don't deal with their triggers, and they put this projection on them and then there's a rift in the relationship. So now they think badly of these people and they'll carry this and it can get worse and worse and they'll start looking for signs that it's true. You'll start looking for evidence um, that everything you believe that you pulled in from your past and that you built up and now are projecting onto them, everything you believe is true and you'll look for evidence. Oh, see, she just walked right past me and didn't even say hi. I knew she didn't like me. You know, just, and you'll get all these things going until it explodes. And then you're going, blah, 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 number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. And these people are like, whoa, we have no idea where this is coming from. Again, this is something we all do. It's something I've done. It's where I've learned about this. Being triggered, projecting, and then getting completely um, emotionally out of whack over things um, that I perceived were slights and not necessarily were slights. And even if they were slights, I don't have to project my whole past onto those slights. I can say, I can let them be, well, that's them, but I don't have to let that tell me a message about myself. And I don't have to hang out with those people. If I have determined that they are really sliding me and, or I just feel like every time around them, I don't feel seen or respected or, you know, then I can make that decision that, you know, I don't want to hang with them because, you know, their energy just doesn't vibe with my energy. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. When we take from the past and we take beliefs that are unhealthy and we project them into the future, we're gonna go in a complete cycle. We have to leave the past, understand it, learn from it, undo those messages, create a new message, and then with intention create what we want to create in the future, what we believe we can create by the new messages we've given ourselves and we believe in ourselves. And that is the process. And that is what I, as a mindset and self-love coach, help guide my clients through. I hope you enjoyed this video on projection. And if you have, please take a moment and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that when I do produce a new video on different subjects, you won't miss out. Okay?